Hey, what's up everyone? All right, today I'm about 350 pages into The Way of Kings, and I just want to talk about the last couple chapters I've read. It definitely feels like these are slower chapters, but Sanderson has found a way to still increase tension, increase the drama as we go through these slower character building chapters. First up, we have Dalinar. So for Dalinar's storyline, we have a situation where basically he has to deal with everybody thinking he's losing his mind. And we know as the reader, he's having these visions that seem very real and are seemingly important. But on top of that now, he has his dead brother's wife coming into the picture. And it looks like she's his love interest. Could be wrong. You know, it's my first time reading through. Could totally be wrong. But I feel like, uh, one, he said he can't picture his, his own wife who passed away. He can't picture her face. But he can easily remember this other woman's face, who is the widow of his brother who passed away. And by introducing something like this into the mix, he clearly is super nervous and feels awkward around her. He has to deal with all these other high princes, but now he has to deal with her. This is a different kind of tension. We have all the, you know, we know something big is coming and they have to be ready to fight, but now there's a little romantic tension, maybe? You know, he, he feels weird about his feelings, <laughs> which it happens. So you throw that little curveball to the mix. And then on top of that, he has to deal with uh, Adolin. His own son is now openly questioning him uh, more than ever. And is starting to get more aggressive and be like, no, you're seeing things. It's not real. You know, snap out of it. He doesn't need this right now. It's kind of like real life in that uh, anytime you go, wow, it can't get any worse now. And then it gets way worse and life throws you a bunch of curveballs and uh, that's what Sanderson is doing to Dalinar. You feel for him, it stresses you out and it, it's slowly building up the tension. Again, even in these slower chapters, which I think is great because I know the Sanderlanch is coming later in the novel. I know the big events are gonna happen. I trust the book so far. And then on the other side, uh, we have Kaladin who just, man, his situation just sucks. And every time he takes a step forward, he gets kicked in the face for it. Like, he saved three men. He saved three lives, and High Prince Sadius is like, uh, well, good. Uh, they won't get any food or water, you know, for those men, so he'll have to watch them starve now. So now it's like, okay, he has to go find supplies. In order to do that, he has to get his men to go collect rocks, which they don't want to do. So his men are going to hate him even more. But he has rock and teft, and they're, and they're on board with his plan. They're kind of like, you know what, let's do it. So again, you know, we're not fast forwarding to some big giant battle. We're still in the day-to-day -day lives with the characters and we're still just slowly turning up the tension. You know, all the characters' lives are just getting a little harder. The obstacles are, you know, popping up more and more. And it's just, uh, we're nearing the halfway point. And I, I kind of assume that something big will happen in the halfway point. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is where it'll kind of slog and then there'll be the climax. I don't know, but I'm into it so far. This week's video is a little shorter. It's been hot as hell. I had one day to record and edit uh, all the videos that I wanted to do this week because I'm actually going on a little vacation with the family this weekend. Uh, so I didn't have a ton of time to record. Next, week video, next week's video will be much longer. I'm in for a long car ride, so I will take probably a big chunk out of the Way of Kings. I know I've been kind of slowly pacing through it. I want to pick up the pace a little bit. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, share, all the good things. Um, yeah, until next time. Later.